Hello, welcome to Sandy Ainley. I hope each one of you are well. Um, I just spoke to my mother for about an hour on the telephone and I sobbed my heart, um, melted my heart, just the thought of my mother at the age of about 86, I think, in November this year. Um, that my mother's doing such a good deal, really, um, so to speak, in life. Um, and so powerful and strong still. Um, and even looks-wise, I don't think my mother just seems maybe 60 years of age. Not, not I don't think really um, 86 or anything around that age, any age around that age. Uh, it's just remarkable, really, in my opinion, it's remarkable. And I was just crying on subject of my late father not being around, which I continue to feel how it's tough for me. And it's just um, life, really, when life um, hits one with, 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 with this type of challenge, you know. Um, on a different note, um, I hope you like my darker colours today. I have this lovely mesh, I think the word is dress. Um, again from Shane. Um, completely fresh and new. And um, my lovely head pieces from Dior. That's my lovely, I think it says I should take it off and show you. There we are. There's the word Dior. They say Dior, but I'm not sure if it's Christine Dior or whether it's just Dior. I'm suspicious that it's simply just Dior, which, of course, to some people would be tempting to buy, but people may be having the put the wool pulled over their eyes to think that it's Christa, Christian Dior. I'm going to take off my bow and show it to you, if I may. Again, saying Dior. So I'm not showing off because it's probably not Dior. <laughs> Sadly for me. Not that it should matter, really. Sorry, I just need to change the position of the camera. That's better. So, yes, so... Um, so I sobbed my heart out, poor little mummy, who said to me, You're, I'm crying too, Sandy. And I think it was a bit deep for my mum. My mum's not a very demonstrative person emotionally, to say the least. And I'm an artist, so it, with me, it flows out, you know, it's very easy for me. Um, it's just um, hard when parents get on in age. I'm also very tired today, I had almost no sleep, in fact I had no sleep during the night. Um, in the morning, at, but from about um, maybe seven to eight, perhaps, or something, I snoozed. I'm not sure if I fell asleep. Um, I certainly feel today tired enough to assume that it's possible that I didn't fall asleep. But then if I don't remember falling asleep, it might mean that I fell asleep. If that makes any sense to you at all, excuse me, please. L'chaim, one says in the Jewish religion, which means cheers. Please excuse me and sorry for drinking it from the can. If one needs to apologise for that.
very nice. So, so. Um. I, um. Find it very hard when I get to a point where I hold in my so called suppressive thoughts and feelings, which um, I am letting go of this evening. And um, in life, each element is on subject of letting go for me. Um, I'm really proud of myself this evening, the manner in which I've um, allowed myself to feel so much love in my heart for life and the past. And I love my, love my beautiful mother so much and my my brother so much and my past is golden today in my head as in I love and I let go anything not positive I let go mm. I said to my mother on the phone this evening that the late Queen Elizabeth II and my mother are very similar characters. I don't mind comparing both, both of which born uh, diplomats. My mother's clever, very clever. The Queen, late Queen, was very clever. My mother is so clever that my mother knows the subtlety of getting almost everything. And if maybe everything, if, if, if at all possible. Very subtle, very clever, and I'm very proud to have a mother so beautiful. And a friend of my mother's, um, whom my mother's been friendly with for maybe 50 years, um, in quite a vicious fashion started to be quite cruel in my opinion of the word cruel and um, speak very plain and very um, intrusive and very um, personally to my mother on subject of me, my brother, my late father and my poor mother. And so I said to my mother today that I... used to think the world of this lady and it just shows that one needs to learn to be realistic so to speak and I've been very disappointed by this lady at my late father's stone setting this lady threw a massive tantrum in front of the guests at the um, get together after the stone setting and I forgave that time thinking, well, each one's human. One needs to live, learn to forgive. So I forgave. Have a, not this time though. Uh, that's, I'll be civil, I'll be polite and that's it. And um, I'm gonna love the lady a lot more after I've informed the lady, which I may do after this video. However, I simply so wish to say that um, whatever the details are in one's personal life, um, it is not the position of anybody external to that person going through whatever that is to make a comment and to throw out one's own rubbish onto um, speaking on subject of something. It's very deep and personal. And um, my mother's probably suffering because having had this friend thinking that this friend was the best friend ever for about 50 or 60 years, maybe, I think. 
and um, so my poor mum and um, the lady's name is is Yuki. It's a certain, it's a um, nickname, if you like. Uh, I think, and um, I'm thoroughly disappointed in the lady. Um, I thought the world of the lady, and I wish to say that again, I thought the world of the lady, I thought wrong. And that's one of the reasons I cried this evening so much, because I just, I feel that the lady's let this family down as a, as, as a, as a friend and shown a very vicious side. Um, I don't know. I may not get involved, but if I do, I'll just say you may have a point in what you're saying. However, you're not to comment. It's not, it's not, your, it's not your place. Am I going to teach that lady? No, I'm not. So I'm not going to phone the lady. Good decision, Sandy. One can very easily go into trying to educate somebody. However, who says that I'm so perfect anyway, that I have the place to go and try and correct this lady, Yuki? Who anyway thinks that Yuki knows best, so there's just no point. Even more of a reason not to. So if you're listening, Bubula, which is what I call my mother, Bubula, if I've not said to you yet, it's Giddish for darling. So if Bubula, if you're listening, I love you, darling, and I'm on your side, and I I know that you've got a good friend in other Israeli ladies, and please just enjoy your love from your family and from your daughter particularly. I love you, Bubula. Love to each one of you. Please take care of yourself. And please take care of one another. And lots of love. Please like and subscribe if you like me, so to speak. Uh, I, I need uh, seven more subscribers in order for me to do work on um, live YouTube so please click on the link below and please like and subscribe if you so wish to I thank you so much Shalom bye